so now i will go to the next slide to calculate the current so for the sake of simplicity this is the actual diagram of the sorry this is the actual diagram this is the actual diagram of the mesfet right so you just think like this here in this this layer don't have any any other thing to do that means no effect on the current so you just think this area this area and for the current calculation what i will do i just rotate this area that means i will draw like this this will be this is that i will draw this is drain this is source just reverse and this will be get okay now you think you understand why the method diagram in many books looks like this it is just a simplified diagram to calculate the current and this is the depression region okay so for the calculation of current i will use this diagram instead of this one okay so i think you understand why i draw this one and do, do this kind of thing so i let's draw again So this will be n plus this will be n plus but that don't have that much effect for the current calculation this is the vds okay source drain and here will be metal contact i think just make it a little bit bigger with another color Here is the metal contact of gate okay so i just attach a voltage source with this one okay so that means this will be vgs okay so now i already tell you about the built-in potential is vbi what is vbi vbi is the voltage across the depletion region vvi okay i didn't tell you here when there is no external power supply at that time is a vbi what is the value i already explain you q nd multiplied by w square divided by 2 into epsilon this is a general equation but for this case for this case let's draw first this is the depletion region here, is the, here i consider the linear region that means vts is small so there is no effect of the uh, depression region with change the tap the, the, the tapering right that it, you, you saw that one in the mosfet so as this is a linear region so i just use this is the rectangle shape depression region so this is the depression region created okay now the length the height of the depression region is h is h okay and length is l okay and for this one i think you already the width is equal to w okay these are two d diagram as i should tell you last time okay so just let's calculate here now here when there is no vgs at that time the potential across this depression region is vbi okay then when we add a voltage source vgs so total effective voltage is how much vbi minus vgs i think you understand this is the voltage source but this is the voltage across the depression region now okay is equal to q so i just delete this one otherwise it will be confusing for you q nd multiplied by what the height is h that means h square h is the depression region height okay and at, at last time is the w so now divided by 2 into epsilon okay so from here what is the value of h h is equal to 2 into epsilon divided by 2 if sorry divided by q into nd Replied by VBI 
माइनस वी जी एस स्क्वायर रूट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ओके एंड द सेकेंड वन इज सपोज नाउ फ्रॉम फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन जस्ट एजूम दिस सी दिस वन जस्ट थिंक if we if the vgs is positive what will happen if the vgs is negative what will happen sometimes maybe you forget in the exam all so now i will explain you from the equation just see this is the voltage across the depletion region okay so if vgs is positive then if the vgs is positive then this whole term this whole term will be low right and if whole if this whole term is low then what will happen this h will be low that mean if we add a positive voltage source then this will be in the forward bias and the depletion region will decreased okay but in the other way think vgs is negative then what will happen if the vgs is negative this whole term will increase as a result h will increase that mean this depletion region will increase and it will cover up the whole semiconductor cross sectional area okay so let's think we increase the vgs okay so we increase the vgs in the negative direction okay if we increase the vgs in the negative direction then what will happen then this is the new depletion region wholly covered up right that mean h is equal to a okay and that mean no current will flow that mean you can see there is no no area to flow the current so that mean vgs is equal to bp we call this condition is a pinch up condition pinch up condition okay so just replace the value here so from this equation i can write down bp is equal to q nd multiplied by a square can you know? why why it's a square as the depletion region with is the total length total total height okay so a square sorry q into n t multiplied by a square divided by 2 into epsilon from here a is equal to how much a is equal to 2 epsilon divided by q into n t multiplied by bp the square root okay so now we can get the value of a and h from the two condition okay so now what i need to do we just think generally just need to think from here this is a, just just think vgs is positive okay if the vgs is positive the channel with is this one and the depletion with is this one okay so at that time if we apply a voltage vds then what will happen a current will flow that is called id from where current will flow the current will flow in this direction okay so that mean the effective area to flow the current is this one okay so what is the height of this one this height will be this is the a so this is h so here will be a minus h okay i think you understand and the width is w okay so what is the area cross section area will be w multiplied by a minus h okay so the current id is is equal to vds divided by r okay so just let's go to the next page So what I write down V D S is equal to I D is equal to V D S divided by R. Okay, so V D S R's mean one by rho into L by A. Okay, so V D S multiplied by W A minus H divided by rho into L. Okay. so vds w a minus h here is l right so what is the value of rho rho is the resistivity right so the value of rho is 1 divided by q 
n d to mu n this is the value of rho okay so from here i can write down v d s q n d mu n w a minus h divided by l okay so from here id is equal to v d s multiplied by q n d mu n from here i common a okay so that means w a 1 minus h by a divided by l okay so from here i can write down v d s multiplied by q n d mu n into w a divided by l multiplied by 1 minus h by a okay so i just write down here id is equal to v d s q n d mu n w a by l into 1 minus h by a so now from this page we have the value of a and h right so just copy this one just paste it here okay so now we can put the value vd uh, value of h h and a so vds i just write down this one as g0 i will explain you what is g0 into 1 minus h by a so it will be 1 minus the value of h you can see this this all is the same right this all is the same so h by a it will be the cancel out so it will be what it will be b b i minus v g s divided by b p okay and now i will explain you why i write down is g0 g0 is the conductance and what is the value i write down g0 is equal to q n d multiplied with the mu n w a by l okay so here i write down w into a that means i consider the whole area whole area as a channel so that means this is the con resistivity right this is the one by row conductance one by row right so here i write down the row with the value of w into a so that means if there is no vg if there is some positive vgs and there is no depression region then at that time the conductance is called rho zero and is equal to q n d mu n w into a and that one i write down is a g zero okay so the ultimately current equation id is equal to this one and from here you can see and from here you can see this that the uh, id is depend upon the vds and vgs both right as vp constant vbi constant g0 constant right so id is just proportional with the vds and vgs and this is a linear relationship okay so for a particular vgs so if i constant the vgs also then id is just nothing but k into vds okay so if i increase or decrease the vgs then it will be k1 or k2 okay so now just let's draw the plot this is the vds and this is the id so what will looks like okay so this will be vgs is equal to zero so what will be there the positive or negative current is decreasing that means depression region is increasing when depression region is increased at that time vgs is 
negative so this will be vgs minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and when like this at that time it will be bp pinch of that time no current will flow okay so that's all so i already covered the short key and ohmic contact concept and with that one we understand the misfit working principle and calculate the current equation of misfit at linear region I will derive the saturation region current equation in my next video. Thanks for your time. Please do share this concept with your friends. And if you like this video, please press the like button. It is really means a lot for me. Bye bye.